talking about the uh, failure of dental composite restorations there might be uh, one of the following factors which affect the uh, failure of composite restoration first of all is the correct choice of uh, a suitable material for any clinical application that the dental composites they are divided into many types according to their filler particle size so for any particular uh, clinical application there is a specific type so correct choice of a material is very important secondly is the isolation of the operating field well isolation if uh, the isolation is not proper uh, the composite material won't bind to the tooth structure even if a perfect uh, acidash technique is performed then the layering technique of dental composite is also very important we note that uh, the composite is not a bulk material we insert it into the tooth structure into the tooth cavity layer by layer and if the layering is not proper uh, the there is a high chance of the failure of dental composite restoration another cause for the failure of dental composite restoration is inadequate adaptation of the composite to the cavo surface margins well this cause is not only important for the anterior teeth but also for the posterior teeth because if the material is not well adapted with the margins of the tooth cavity the restoration will likely fail then uh, the curing light intensity and wavelength they are also very important uh, the uh, distance of the curing tape from the composite restoration that is also very important curing time is also very important uh, if there is inadequate curing time polymer in the dental composite won't get polymerized and more likely it will get dislodged easily then uh, the care must be taken during the finishing and polishing of the dental composite so all these factors individually or combined together they affect the composite restoration a well bonded and adapted composite restoration which has been finished and polished properly uh, with the proper isolation and proper techniques followed will last for a much longer time placement of the composite restoration into the tooth cavity is also very important we know that the composite is inserted into the tooth cavity layer by layer theoretically uh, a bulk of 2 mm an increment of 2 mm is uh, recommended for uh, the composite restoration and not uh, more than this because uh, the composite as we know uh, has filler particles which are composed of glass quartz silica etc and when the light enters into the bulk of the composite restoration it gets scattered this is due to the filler particles which are made up of glass quartz and silica etc the maximum polymerization take place when the increment is not more than 2 mm thickness so it get polymerized easily then you can add the second increment of the dental composite well, the studies have shown that the composite restoration do not last as long as the amalgam restoration um, a study done in 1987 it compared the survival rate of both amalgam and dental composite uh, over the period of three four five and seven years and uh, it was found out that uh, after seven years 94.5 percent of the amalgam restoration they survived only 67 0.4 percent of the composite restoration they survived after the period of seven years time well in the end i would only say that the patient's demand for the aesthetics and uh, due to this phenomenal developments in resin and the filler particles nanotechnology which is being introduced in the dentistry in especially in the composite dental composite Due to all these factors, the dental composite they become a material of choice for the direct restorative procedures. They have a wide range of colors, shades, and translucencies, opacities available. Due to all these factors, the clinicians today they are able to provide a restoration which mimics the natural tooth structure. And research is also going on to reduce the drawbacks of the dental composite to the minimum so that was the lecture for the dental composites i know it is very difficult to summarize the whole topic in the 15 to 20 minutes of lecture time but i tried my best to highlight the bullet points of this lecture i hope it was helpful now you are going to see a video uh, which is related to today's topic of our seminar